Welcome back to Washington Watch. My name is Joseph Backholm. It's my pleasure to be sitting in for Tony today and to be with you. With each new administration, the incoming president gets his pick of the people who will run government agencies and programs that make our country run. The ones at the highest level have to be confirmed by the Senate, and many of President Biden's nominations have been concerning. Like his pick for the commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, Dr. Robert Califf, who brings with him a troubling past from his time as President Obama's FDA commissioner. Here to tell us about this nominee, as well as some breaking news, is Connor Semmelsberger, FRC's Director of Federal Affairs for Life and Human Dignity. Connor, good to see you. It's great to be on, Joseph. Well, start off, uh, Let tell us what the concern you have with Dr. Califf is. Yeah, so Dr. Califf uh, was the commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration all the way back in 2016 during Obama's last year. And why does the Food and Drug Administration have anything to say about pro-life issues? Well, all the way back in 2000, uh, the Clinton administration approved what we call chemical abortion pills, a two-pill regimen uh, that allows a woman in her own home to uh, have an abortion right there, um, all the way through about uh, 10 weeks of pregnancy. And uh, these, these drugs have been regulated pretty heavily for a long time, until 2016, when Robert Califf, uh, none other than, was the commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration and severely weakened uh, how uh, complications related to this uh, were tracked, as well as um, you know, any of the dangers with these drugs, were, they were weakened, these, these protocols. And then here we are with some breaking news that just under the Biden administration just today, they've weakened these health and safety protocols for these chemical abortion drugs even further. And tell us more about that. My understanding, again, this news is coming down just within the last half hour or so. Uh, the FDA has now allowed, said that chemical abortion pills can be sent through the mail so you don't have to actually see a healthcare provider. Do I understand that correctly? Yes, that's exactly what happened here. And um, before, uh, to get these pills, uh, there was a requirement, right? FDA had some good folks that were scientists. They wanted to actually make their drugs safe and effective. Uh, And so to get these drugs, you had to be in the presence of a physician. They had to make sure they could check for things like ectopic pregnancy and and the rest to make sure you actually were pregnant and to actually uh, make sure that, uh, you know, what was going on with your pregnancy was was good, that they could prescribe this. Well, what they decided today was, you know what, we're not even gonna check to make sure you're pregnant, that you don't have blood complications, et cetera. We're just gonna be able to mail these pills to you, uh, no matter where you're at, uh, from a pharmacy, without any physician oversight, right to your home for the abortion to be all on you and to you go through any complications that might arise. So it's a it's a pretty damning day, and, and it goes to show that the, the science, right, following the science, like we've heard out of the Biden administration for, for months now, Um, has not been the case. And let's talk a bit more about that. This is breaking news. Is this news accompanied by uh, research that the FDA has done that's concluded uh, these are very safe, there's no reason to actually consult with a healthcare provider, or does this look more like we want to make these available, so we're going to make them available, but we're not going to necessarily look for a scientific justification for that? Yeah, if you thought the COVID regulations through FDA were political, this issue is even more political. It is not based in science in any way, shape, or form. And here's why. It's not just conjecture. Uh, For years and years, the FDA was supposed to be tracking how dangerous or how safe are these drugs. Well, instead of actually doing that, they relied on the abortion industry to report any uh, adverse events. It's been on states, local health agencies, and others to actually track what's going on with these pills and how dangerous are they. And so in the last even year, uh, good researchers, uh, pro-life doctors, OBGYNs have gotten together, compiled this data, and found that there are way more deaths and way more adverse events related to these drugs than the the FDA ever even cared to know about. Uh, Even more so, they checked to make sure, okay, what about the emergency room rates for women taking these chemical abortion drugs, 500% higher than those that get surgical abortions. These are independent uh, researchers and doctors doing this research, not the FDA. And so as more data has been revealed that these things are less safe, less effective than the FDA claims, instead of making uh, these regulations stronger to make sure these women that are taking these drugs are safe, they even weaken these. So again, I couldn't find a more political uh, ploy by the FDA. They have not been following the facts and data like Robert Califf claimed he, uh, he thought the FDA would be doing this week. Has the FDA even acknowledged 
the data that you just cited, those studies finding that chemical abortions have a 500% greater likelihood of sending someone to the emergency room than a surgical abortion. Is that something the FDA is uh, responding to or are they just ignoring it? Frankly, they've just been ignoring it. And, and what it comes back to is it's just the, those facts and, and, and data points don't help advance their cause. And why is this cause something that someone like the FDA commissioner and the Biden administration care so much about? What it has to do is what's been going on around our country to advance the cause for unborn life. We heard the big Supreme Court case out of Mississippi the other week, Texas banning abortions from six weeks on with their, the effectiveness of their heartbeat bill, and the abortion industry is running scared. So instead of actually pushing these things in the courts and states where they've been losing time after time, as we've seen this year, they're having to ram through these political uh, agenda items through places like the FDA to disregard any scientific facts, even if they're founded in truth and actually are causing harm to women and definitely their unborn children, they have to ignore these things if they need to advance the cause of abortion, and their, their end goal is to have these chemical abortion pills not just mailed to you in your home, but ready to pick up at your local pharmacy. Yeah. Connor, who is it that benefits by making chemical abortion pills available through the mail? Yeah, it's really this ideology. Uh, uh, it's framed as women's reproductive freedom, but it's much more about controlling women and sexual health than e ever would be admitted. But it's just the abortion industry, too. There's so much money to be gained in this. As you can tell, Planned Parenthood's abortion services has continued to climb year after year. And how are they doing their abortions now? It's not through your clinics down the street uh, with the dirty surgical tools. It's through chemical abortion. It's so much cheaper to send a pill through the mail with no oversight, no complications that you have to worry about. It's all on the woman. It's, it's back to these modern day back alley abortions. And so that's who stands to benefit. An ideology that thinks uh, anything that gets in the way of women being back in the workforce, even if it means killing their unborn child, uh, that's who benefits as well as the pocketbooks of Planned Parenthood. And Connor, one of the problems with this, especially in states like California and Washington, where there are no parental consent uh, requirements, these these pills are mailed hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles. You're hundreds of miles away from the nearest healthcare provider. You take it, have a complication, and you're not close to anybody who knows it's happening or could help. And that does create a, uh, a convergence of issues that can create real problems. Some cases are lethal. Connor Semmelsberger, but we appreciate your time today.